Welcome back. Figures don't lie. And the story they tell of the Grenada economy has been encouraging. Economic growth rates, unemployment, revenue targets, unpaid claims, debt and debt to GDP ratio, all making significant gains. And all of this after just three years in office by the Keith Mitchell led government. In this Royal Titus report, the man on the street also assesses the government's performance thus far. The recommendation from the Washington-based International Monetary Fund to the Keith Mitchell government in St. George's was clear. Send home 3,000 public officers to reduce the wage bill below 50% of recurrent revenue. It was among the series of benchmark for the government as it entered into an IMF-supported three-year structural adjustment program aimed at rebalancing a struggling economy. As the administration observed its third year in office recently, it is boasting that it has been able to achieve the milestone, but not by firing public officers. Today I'm very proud to say that we have the wage bill under 50% and every public officer is at work. As the Grenada economy attempts a recovery under the Structural Adjustment Program, both the government and the IMF say targets are being met. They include a reduction in government expenditure, such as the public sector wage bill, which is being achieved through a reduction in the public service by enforcing an attrition policy. Other targets include an increase in government's revenues and the introduction of Fiscal Responsibility Act to ensure that medium-term fiscal objectives are in line with debt reduction goals. We are growing the fastest in the entire OECS. And so to, for me, this is a major, major achievement. If you look at fiscal stability, when we came into office, we had a huge gap in terms of the wage bill meeting our ex recurrent expenditure. At the end of last year, we are collecting more revenue than budgeted and we are meeting all our expenditure on time. Grenada's national debt has fallen from around $2 billion after the country paid off $299.9 million in 2015, including a payment of $3.7 million EC dollars to Taiwan. Grenada has also secured a debt relief in excess of $400 million as a result of a 50% haircut with bondholders and Taiwan. During his 2016 budget presentation in Parliament, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell announced that the country's debt-to-GDP ratio was expected to fall from 109.1% in 2014 to 103.6% in 2015. The Prime Minister reveals that the plan is to reduce the country's debt-to-GDP ratio to 60% in the next five years. We have certainly have uh, an improved situation uh, today. Unlike the tremendous deficit we had on a monthly basis, we've seen surpluses. And what is significant about all this is that while we estimated in our budget in, in the three years so far, and starting again this, this 2016 in February and January, every single estimated figure for the budget has been surpassed each month for the last three years and two months. For the third straight year, Grenada's economic growth performance is expected to exceed the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union average of 1.9%. Construction, agriculture and record receipts in tourism have been credited for triggering this growth. Both the Customs and Excise Division and the Inland Revenue Division continue to exceed revenue targets and government has been reporting record revenues from taxes such as VAT and property tax. In fact, the Mitchell administration reported a surplus in government for the first time in a decade. We have an economy that was, as I was saying, in deep recession, that from years of negative growth to now one of the fastest growing economies, if not the fastest growing economy within the region, we're seeing investor confidence um, on the rise again. Implementation Minister Alexandra Otwin Noel has pointed to several projects which have begun, such as the Silver Sands, Mount Cinnamon expansion, as well as marinas such as Clarkscote Bay Marina. 
it's because we have created a stable environment for investment. Um, Grenada's economy is growing beautifully and exceeding all our expectations. Meantime, unpaid claims, which stood at $110 million three years ago, have been slashed to zero for those over 60 days. Government's monthly deficit, which was $16 million before the start of the homegrown program, has now been significantly reduced to an average monthly shortfall of one million. The Prime Minister has been reporting the creation of 3,000 new jobs since his administration was returned to office three years ago. We have started to tackle the issues of unemployment. We've brought unemployment down from, um, from in excess of 40% when we came into office, um, down to 30%, still far too high and to the views of the person on the street about the performance of the government after three years. And as far as I've seen for the time being, the government is trying the best. I see that everything is running smooth for me and my government. These are the images from across Grenada. This is State of Affairs. More stories from the hotline after this.